Hey, it's Aaron, and today we're going to be taking a look at Hip Flask. This puzzle is a level 9 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. So we have it. This is the second puzzle from Felix Year. Of course, made in shiny brass, and it weighs a ton. So, the goal of this puzzle is to remove the top completely. So to begin with, we have to solve a blind maze. And more or less we have this pin internally, and it's got a bunch of grooves cut in it and ridges. There is a spring-loaded pin on this side, and it will ride on those ridges, and if you fall off of it, it will click into the grooves and then you have to reset that stage of the puzzle. So we'll get on with the doing that. And to start with, Oh, that was extremely lucky. <laughs> I didn't stage that. I was planning to rotate and th at this portion, you're supposed to kind of just blindly rotate it till it kind of comes out further, like so. Most of the time, that's actually too easy. I'm going to reset it. Most of the time, most of the time you're going to get something like that and you're just going to have to take it back down and rotate it until it pops up and you can see a groove. So we're going to rotate it till we can just feel tension and we're going to pull up. Now there's a ramp that's allowing this pin to go back up on the ridge. We had dropped into a groove with our movement and then we found our ridge by rotating and you'll hear a click. So I'll go down. Go down to this stage. So this is the stage before I went back up. I kind of jumped the gun. So we're back on that ridge. And if you go too far, you hear that click and it's back in the groove and you can keep rotating it all day. But once you feel that tension, you stop it before you hear that click. That's it dropping off the other side of that ridge and you'll lift it part way. Now you can see that there's another ridge coming up and we don't want to go all the way on that ridge. We want to then, and we'll use our other finger just to kind of hold our distance, rotate it, almost a full rotation. So I'm paying attention to this ridge here, this solid ridge, and we're going to have it kind of off the side like that. And it's going to be something you're going to have to play with. It's kind of fiddly. And if you miss it, it drops down. But if you get it, you can pull it up even further. So from here, we can actually take out these two pins. We're done with the blind maze. We can't go any further up. We can rotate it all day, nothing happens. So we want to drop this longer, thinner pin in first. And then this pin here. Now we want to push this back in just so it feel, we feel it's back on the ridge. And then we want to hold this pin at the bottom and then we can pull it. Now what happened here is we created suction with these two pins holding this spring loaded pin back in place. Now if I let go of this, this pin will go shooting back out and then you kind of got to get tweezers to fiddle it back in. The other way is you could take out this grub screw, put this back into it, and then drop the pin and the spring back in and do up the grub screw. But it's a lot easier, I feel, to just get that pin back in. And I'll actually let it come up a little bit so you can see it. So now to get this back in, we will press down on the pin and then we will make sure we have suction again by holding those two pins at the back. And then we will put this in and we only want it to click past 
to that one groove. You can release the pressure until you hear a click. Now we do that instead of just ramming it all the way in so we can return our pins and not have to do the blind maze again. We will slide these back in. And then from here, we can just click down the maze. And that's it fully assembled. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.